Hey guys, it's Jackie here, aka Unbanded Cutie, or the artist formerly known as Banded Cutie. Um, not much has changed in the last year. I still don't know how to use my cell phone to appropriately record videos. Um, my mom lost my camera last year and I haven't replaced it yet. Um, the only thing that has changed is that I have a new computer. The only thing that hasn't changed is that the webcam is still not that great quality. So um, right now I'm just going to be working with what I have. Um, and hope that it'll give us a decent video and that I can edit it and see what happens from there. Um, okay, so I am on day three of my STEM cycle and that basically just means that I'm on IVF day three of the stimulation. So I'm taking um, injectable medications to stimulate um, follicle development. So um, for my last video, I had 10 follicles on each ovary, and not every follicle is going to produce an egg, but that's what we're hoping for. And we're hoping for high quality eggs, but because I have PCOS, um, I basically can have an overstimulation of eggs, but not the best quality of eggs. So that's what we're hoping for. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what my life is like for the, for the what my life has been like for these last three days, and what it will look like for the next about a um, couple weeks. So basically, I'm doing injectable medication. I'm doing the Golnil um, Ready Eject Pen, 225 milligrams of that. And then I'm doing 75 milligrams of, of Mineral Pure, I think it's called. Um, I also am going to be on the Lupron shot, which is going to be the trigger shot to trigger ovulation. Um, that's and Ganarelix, I think that's the last one of the medication. Uh, the medication. And it just helps um, with the getting yourself ready to have an embryo transferred. Um, what I'm doing is chiropreservation. So basically what that means is that I will be um, doing the whole ovulation cycle and the whole um, trigger cycle and stimulation cycle this round. And then we're going to be doing um, ICSI, which means they're taking my partner's specimen and in directly injecting it into my egg in hopes that it goes through an embryo and makes an embryo. Um, and it goes to the blastocyst stage, hopefully. From there, they're gonna freeze those, um, and then in a month, we're gonna implant. Why are we waiting? We're waiting because, of, one, my PCOS, two, um, because I tend to be a little overstimulated on medication. I'm responding well, I think. Um, you know, the only side effects I have is that my boobs did get, like, well, my boobs were always big, but they did get bigger, and they hurt so bad, so bad. Um, they're just like really tender and I get like these sharp stabbing pains and then of course in the inject the um, injection sites which are in my belly um, I do have like some redness and um, burning so anywho this is my box of medications um, it came with a sharp spin where I put all my sharps in um, I have the needles are in here these are my syringes, and then I also have, so these are like what um, are called the subutenix needles, I think. They're the little ones that's for like um, to put in the fatty areas. And then I have these needles, which I call the IM needles because they're intermuscular. Um, thank God we're not doing IM anything, but I have been using these needles. That's about the size of it. I'm not sure if you can see it. I have been using, yeah, see how big that thing is? I have been using this to mix my medication. Um, so, yeah, I'm on a shit ton of meds, guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I mix it and go from there. So I'm gonna need about four alcohol swabs. Um, I'm going to need one IM, put these back, I'm going to need one syringe, put that back, and two of the little needles. So like I said, this one's already a ready checked. So what I do with this one is get the box open. I already have one open, but it doesn't have enough medication in it right now for the 225 milligrams. I think it's milligrams is the right unit. Probably no. Um, IU, that's what it's called, not milligrams. 225 IUs. So it doesn't have enough. 
because it comes, it's up to 450. Anywho, so these go um, in the fridge or at room temperature for up to 28 days. All right, so never open this. So this is what this one looks like. So this one's already pre-filled with the medication, um, kept in the fridge. You take the alcohol swab. You swab this little area right here. This has a little injectable needle right there with a the needle cap. You put that in clockwise. You change this from the zero to the two, 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 five milligrams. Right, there are no air bubbles. Take this out, take that out. That's the needle, so it's a little one. All right, for those of you who are a little squeamish, now would be the time to look away. Okay. So. All right, so I did this side yesterday. I'm gonna be doing this side today. You gotta hold it up, you gotta put this on here the area off. I already washed my hands with soap and water. Okay, let that air dry. Get the medication. Okay, this one you have to do at a 45 degree angle. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Out. Close. And throw away in your sharps container. Then just cap it back. Put it in the fridge. That one's not so bad. It burns, um, but it's not as bad as the Menno Pure. So the Menno Pure, it gives you, so the Menno Pure, it gives you the medication itself and then the dilution liquid. Okay. See. So it's kind of like a vial full of like white sand, kind of, and then this is the white, um, the dilution liquid. So basically, you just take a syringe. Well, you pop off the caps. Hold that. Hold that. Okay, so we've already used two alcohol swabs, one needle. Okay. Take another alcohol swab, clean the tops. You grab your syringe. I'm like a fucking nurse. This is awesome. Like, so I could do this on myself. I don't think I could ever do this on anybody else. Okay. The needle. Wrong one. Where is there it is? So this needle is the scary one. And at first, um, I tried to inject myself with that fucking needle, because I'm an idiot. And my mom was like, I don't think that's the right one. So basically, you take this one to uh, one milliliter, right? You take the dilution liquid, right? You poke. Fill it with the air that you just had. Flip over and try to get all the liquid in. So this one is the one that I'm not great at because I tried to get all the liquid and sometimes it just doesn't go. And you don't really need all, you just need one milliliter or 0.75. 
now that it's in there, put that one down. So now you take the little sand one, you poke it, right? And then you mix it in your fingers. Right? That's how you mix it. You never want to shake, you just mix. Now that that's incorporated, okay. Now that I put the medication in here because I'm a dumbass, you take that needle out, then you put your butterfly needle in. Yeah. I know my stomach's not beautiful, but whatever. So that's where I went before. Clearly it's all bloody. That's the reason I don't like the the ready jack pen. Just, like it's not bad, but I do get bloody. Same thing, um, 45 to 90 degree angle. Ooh, this one hurts. container, check the belly area, oh. that's my life, alright let me clean up, I'll be right back, okay guys so now that you've seen my unflattering stomach, um, my injectables, and everything I will definitely keep you all updated um, so like I said tomorrow I go in for my ultrasound um, and just to measure the follicles and then I get instructions uh, later on tomorrow afternoon so yeah medication sucks shots suck ass but at the end of the day I gotta do what I gotta do to make a baby <laughs> thank you guys for following my journey um, I will keep you all updated